so my team has prepared 20 of the most outrageous TikToks on the entire platform, and we're gonna test them to see if they actually work. And I've done something very dumb. I was so confident last week that they won't, that I promised them if more than half of them do, I will dye my hair a TikTok blue. Kill me now. Okay, toothpaste in Fanta gives it a sh- There's no way. I can literally see the editing. This is so, so stupid. All right, Colgate Total, fresh bottle of Fanta. Oh my God, nothing. Whoa! Did I just get pranked? At least it smells nice. Anyways, to actually get this multicolored drink, all these people have done is just selected the orange color of the Fanta in their editing program and swapped it out for another color. So they're saying you put toothpaste on a cracked screen, wipe it off, and it's gonna get rid of your cracks. They're all this bad. My hair might actually get away okay. So where this comes from is the fact that toothpaste is a mild abrasive. So technically, yes, if you rubbed enough of this into your phone's display, it could sand down the bits that aren't currently scratched and kind of even it out. But I mean, I tried it and it actually just created a whole new layer of micro scratches. And it's never gonna be able to do something like this. So we've got an iPhone, a power bank, draw a line with a Sharpie in between them and that's gonna charge it. No, 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 no. <laughs> The thing that's really confusing about this though is that the whole purpose of this person's channel is that they're the ones who are verifying other people's life hacks. But what they're saying is ridiculous. I apologize for what I'm about to do. If we follow the TikTok exactly, we've got to snip two ends of a cable, plug the iPhone end into the iPhone, the USB end into a power bank, and then, I kid you not, connect the two with a Sharpie. And to no one's surprise, my phone has not lit up, it is not charging. To give them a fraction of credit, there are pens you can get that would allow this to be possible because they effectively contain metal within their ink, but a Sharpie is not one of them. So you're saying press Option, Shift, and K, and it writes an Apple logo. That is interesting. All right, Option, Shift, K. Ooh, that actually works. What happens if we Google it? It comes up with the Apple website. That's a weird, cool Easter egg. Apparently, if you drop an egg into a pan, it will crack perfectly. How many eggs do you think she went through to get this shot? I feel like there's a reason that I've never in my life seen a professional chef actually do this. Okay. Ah! Oh dear. I mean, <laughs> the egg did crack. That's a pretty disappointing looking egg. Oh, I just realized the yolk is actually cracked, which with fried egg is the entire game. Does that not look weirdly like a Star Wars play? Well, I was right, so at least I don't have egg on my face. All right, huge life hack time. I'm very excited. If you put a coin in a potato, connect it with another potato, and what is it with TikTok and ways to charge your phone? So I hate to be the one to say this, but there is actually a kernel of truth to this one. See, potatoes contain electrolytes, which means they can actually conduct electricity. And you can make a working battery if you hook up your potatoes to some zinc and some copper strips and then connect them via wires. But the reason that our good old TikTok life hack doesn't work is that by connecting a just lost my 50p in the potato. The reason this doesn't work is that a working battery needs to have both a positive and a negative. Because we only have one coin here, we only have a positive and we're not even connected to it. This one's kind of advanced. So this person's using a makeup brush to be able to mark certain points on their screen, the points that would unlock their phone using their pin. And then they're gonna try and create voice commands that can trigger the screen to press in those locations so that the phone will automatically unlock using their voice. I think this one will work. I just don't think it'll be very practical. So I've just set this up, unlock. It's actually really cool to watch, but is it secure? Like, would you do that in a public place, announce to the world that your password is just unlock? Not to mention the fact that Face ID is about five times faster. But I do want to show you how you can use this feature in an actually cool way. So settings, accessibility, voice control, and then turn voice control on. And then when you click customize commands, create one that says next and make the gesture just a swipe up. And this basically means that the next time you're on TikTok or Instagram or some sort of scrolling app, you just say next and it will scroll for you. Hey, they're putting a piece of tape on their phone camera, then blue ink, then another piece of tape, now purple ink, and then they're using a yellow highlighter to make some sort of... Oh. They're saying that it turns it into invisible ink. I'm definitely not confident about this one. Scotch tape over the camera. What is it with TikTokers and Sharpies? Layer two is gonna be purple. We give our highlighter a little dip. I'm assuming this is to dilute it. I guess the idea here is that we want ink that is not visible to the naked eye. Oh. Hello. That's highlighter fluid, Milo. Not ham. Let's just write a random number. Well, I guess it's kind of working so far in the sense that you can't properly see what I've written. The question is though, is it gonna stay that way? iPhone torch. Ooh. It's not what I was expecting, but it just about does enough that I think we have to give it the point. Something is clearly happening here because the ink glows when you shine light on it. 
All right, super useful iOS screenshot life hack. Take a screenshot, and then they're saying, instead of drawing this rubbish circle with your finger, which I do quite regularly, <laughs> it's saying that you can hold down on screen and it will automatically correct that squiggle into a neater shape. So let's take the screenshot. I'm gonna make a nice rough squiggle. Hold on the screen and it does correct it. All right, Apple, I'm impressed. Why are all the coolest features so hidden though? download more ram.com and the caption says it's going to make your computer three times faster oh tiktok right so i'm on this download more ram site now it gives you the option to pick the amount of ram you want to download four gigabytes all the way to 32 and then once you decided you just click select plan this is obviously complete bogus it even actually says at the bottom that this is a joke website but then tiktok has kind of let us down by making it seem legit just get a ruler and follow my steps. Trick your friends, I always love doing that. So it's saying that, okay, if you put a ruler on a table and you throw an apple on it, it's gonna flip over. If you then put a paper over that ruler and do the same, it's not gonna flip. Why would that be? It's not like the paper weighs anything. Well, I feel like I know what's gonna happen for this first bit. Okay, the ruler flies. But now let's get this sheet of paper, lay it on top. Three, two, one. And it works. Wow, that was a really heavy potato be a fun science class. So the thing that's really interesting about this is that that's nothing to do with the weight of the paper. Like if I just scrunch this up and put it on top of the ruler, that's still gonna fly. <laughs> Nearly face shotted myself. It's actually just the fact that the paper is spread out that allows it to exert a large amount of atmospheric pressure on the ruler because atmospheric pressure is proportional to the area that it's spread across. Okay, the fact that the last couple have worked now is, is getting a little scary. <laughs> Wait, surely not. This is a really tricky one to predict. They're basically saying that if you line up a bunch of AA batteries and connect them to a light bulb, it will power it. I have seen a lot of TikToks which are all about how to creatively light light bulbs, and they are usually just complete codswallop. Like you can see them not even make contact with the metal parts of the light bulb that they would need to, to light it. But this one does make contact with those parts. Yeah, so this one wasn't completely obvious to me, but... That does not work. And the reason it doesn't work is not necessarily the concept. It's more the fact that each AA battery only puts out about 1.5 volts. But the mains electricity here in the UK that bulbs like this are made to run on is 230 volts. Not a very bright idea. I feel like my team has planned these life hacks so that they get harder and harder to predict as we go on. Okay, so hairdryer plus mask. Why are these DIY projects so strange? They're using the back of the hairdryer and there's also a bottle on the other end and that apparently becomes a vacuum cleaner. Mmm. I have a bad feeling this one's gonna work. All right, all right. So the situation I'm imagining is you walk into your bedroom with your favorite midnight snack and you spill it. And then you're like, what a nightmare. But wait a second, I saw a TikTok about this. You get your hairdryer, your empty water bottle, and your mask. Three ingredients I did not expect to be going together. And then as your snack is slowly soaking into your carpet, you find yourself a pair of scissors, cut that bottle open. This is not gonna be good for airflow. Who's gonna have these three specific things, but not a vacuum cleaner? Turn it on. Oh my God, that just sparked. Yeah, that is not safe. I don't think the camera quite caught that, but that hairdryer was sparking and it is now broken. So do not try this one at home. This one's kind of rogue. So you get a candle, you put it in a bowl, you fill that bowl with liquid, and then apparently by putting a glass bottle on top of that, there's some kind of explosive reaction. I've just realized TikTok's actually flagged this video saying participating in this activity could result in you or others getting hurt. That's just what I want to hear. So let's light this candle. There's been one too many explosive experiments in this video for my comfort. Just dropping a little bit of wax at the bottom so we can stick the candle on. Okay, perfect. So that is now locked in. Fill it with water. My heart is racing. I'm doing this for science. The candle's floating. That's kind of insane. It's like really slowly sailing up the bottle. And I think I have a pretty good idea of why this happens. So the candle is heating up the inside of the bottle and then because the inside of the bottle is hotter, the air pressure is lower, which pulls up water into that void. Starting to worry about the blackness of my hair. Here's something I didn't know until I was in my 30s. You can easily roll up a milk jug. Why would you want to roll up a milk jug? So you fill it with hot water, you roll it, but why? All right, so I looked it up and apparently milk cartons are actually made from something called a thermoplastic, which can change shape when heated. And the benefit of being able to do that, which I did not see coming, is that squeezing them all up like this allows you to fit like three times as many bottles in your recycling bin. To be fair, probably more like 10 times. All right, TikTok, well done. I'm really enjoying this process. Next time you're in a restaurant, try piercing the pack of butter with a fork and squeezing it. Wow. 
<laughs> it looks like stringy cheese. That's also a lot of liquid that came out of that. If that does work, that would actually save you a lot of time from trying to spread one massive block. Okay, so we have just finished making the perfect slice of toast. If you haven't seen our video about this toaster, by the way, it is insane. You need to see it. I am genuinely really excited about this one. If this actually works, next restaurant I go to, I'm buttering everyone's toast for them. Right, I stabbed that a little bit too hard, but it actually works. And it basically means you can spread that butter in one sweep. And if you're enjoying this video, then a sub to the channel would be, squeeze it. I'm getting a little concerned about the potential color of my hair. Right, so what they're saying is the heat from hair straighteners is enough to allow the wine to decork itself. It's the first time I've ever used a hair straightener, and <laughs> it's for this. If this has any chance of working, I'm assuming it's because heat will expand the air on the inside of the wine bottle. But then at the same time, the heat could also just expand the glass and shatter it. I feel like this needs to get very, very hot for it to work. If this does work though, it could be a corker. We need to upgrade straightener. These ones apparently go to 230 degrees. I feel like I can already smell burning. One eternity later. All the lights on and everything. Oh! <laughs> Did anyone see that coming? Ah, it was like boiling wine over my phone. Some part of me was kind of hoping this was my chance to cash in a failure, but that did work. Although all of this heat has probably evaporated a third of our alcohol, leaving us with a nicely uncorked bottle of vinegar. All right, how to freeze water instantly. What? Is that it? Hmm. It's hard to believe, because that's absolutely crazy if it's true, but I didn't see any signs that this video has been edited either. So I've done a bit of digging and this is a real effect. So we peel some tape and put it around the balloon to stabilize it, to kind of keep it together. And now, if I give this a surgical poke, this could be so messy. It works, look at that. It's an optical illusion called laminar flow. The water isn't technically frozen, so the TikTok did kind of lie, but the path out of the balloon is so smooth that it looks like it's stationary. Slight clickbait, but I've seen a lot worse and that was actually really, really cool. So you can have this point, TikTok. I've actually just flooded my kitchen. <laughs> oh God. How to win the claw machine every time. There is n there's no way, there's no way. <laughs> So what they're saying is there is a cheat code you can do with the joystick that makes you win a prize every time. Arcades are purpose built to just milk as much cash out of you as possible. I find it hard to believe that they would allow something like this to fly. Plus, hey, like if this actually worked, claw machines around the globe would be empty by now. It'd be a little bit like if a shop started giving away its stuff for free. I'm giving this one a fail right now. All right, number 20, get a CD, heat it up with a lighter and Goodness me. I don't remember the last time I wanted something to both work and definitely not work at the same time. Some part of me really hopes this is real, even with the consequences that would entail. If this works, my hair changes color, but then at the same time, it would also be one of the coolest tricks I've ever seen. So you separate your CD into two halves. This is one I prepped earlier. And then you should just be able to heat the bottom half. I'm so nervous right now. All right, let's try it. It's a CD bubble. Oh dear God. I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, I am. I know you are. Look at how blue that is. It's almost Mr. Who's the Boss Blue. Yeah. <laughs> you know how to do it. I've never dyed my hair before because I'm not going gray unlike you, but. Um... Oh, I like my hair the way it is. <laughs> Just don't dye my ears. <laughs> It's looking very much like a Smurf at the moment. <laughs> Have you messed it up? There might be an interesting pattern on the back, let's just say that. Do you not like the Smurf look? I, t I should have picked someone else to do this. Who? Anyone? And while you wait... This is every ingredient that we've gone through. That egg looks so grim. <laughs> Why? Well, we don't waste here, do we? Oh. It's like a rotten toothpaste. <laughs> Josh, it says like one to five minutes. It's only it says 17. That's all right. What have you done? Come on then, let's go to the bathroom. Get out. Get out. You kill me, Josh. You, you really do. This will be the first time I'm seeing it. Okay. That actually isn't awful. Oh. <laughs> my hands are more dyed than my hair is. I think we got away with that one. Oh. 